like he said, y'all hate to hear this truth. Y'all hate the men of God, and y'all hate God. Because a lot of you don't even know what it means to love God. Give me the love of God. Give me the love of God. Because a lot of Christians say they love God, but they don't even know what the Bible says about love. Love is not an emotion according to God. God is not about feelings. He's about actions. Read that. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. So this is the love of God. If you claim to love God, you must be following this scripture. Read it. For this is the love of God. Read. For the, that we keep his commandments. Read it again from the top and read it clear. Take your time, bro. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Read. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. Read. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? Keep his commandments. So if you claim to love God in 2021, you must be keeping his commandments. Yes, right. And that's what we preach. To keep God's commandments. Yes. Read verse 2. Read verse verse two. 2. By this we know that we love the children of God. So this is how you know you love the children of God. Because God is about action. God said you love me by keeping his commandments. Let's see how you love one another. Because we are the Israelites according to the Bible. God said this is how you show that you love the people of God. Read. When we love God. When we love God means keep his commandments. Read. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. That's how you show that you love the people of God. Isaiah 58 and 1. So that's what we out here to do. We out to preach God's commandments and teach you that you are supposed to be keeping them. You are that holy nation in the Bible. You are God's chosen children. And it's time for you to wake up and repent. Right. And keep God's laws. That's right. Because a lot of you think you saved already, but you're not saved if you are not applying God's laws and the faith of Jesus. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Read. Read. Cry aloud. Do what? Cry aloud. Read. Spare not. God tell us to cry aloud. We're crying on the mountaintops preaching. Keep God's laws. Cry aloud. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And that's why we got this microphone. So everybody at Bro and Neri can hear that the men of God are out here. Right. And we're preaching. Read. And show my people their transgression. And that's what we do. But y'all hate us for it. Y'all hate that we come out with this correction and teach you that the life that you're living, God does not like. And you will be judged for that thing. Read. And the house of Jacob their sins. The Lord says, show the house of Jacob their sins. And that's what we do. But you do not like it. And you hate us for it. Amos 5 and 10. Bring it out. Amos 5 and 10. That's how we know we're doing the right thing. All the prophets that preach, they went through persecution by their own people. They had hatred by their own people. Rocks, stones, and they wanted to murder the apostles. So that's how we know we're doing the right thing. These, these preachers in the churches, they don't suffer persecution. Right. They not in poverty. Right. They, they begging for jets. Cleflo is begging for a spaceship now. He said he got to teach the gospel on the moon. That's not biblical. That's not in the Bible. But he wants you black people to invest and buy him a spaceship so he can teach you on Mars. The false doctrine of Christianity. Read. The book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 10. Read. It out. They hate him. That rebuke it in the gate. So we know it. It's written. God said you hate the men that come out and try to correct you. But we're going to do it. Even unto death. If you put one of us to death, another man is going to step up. We got schools in every nation, almost every country. God is coming. It's time to wake up. God said you hate him. That rebuke him in the gate. Read. And they abhor him. That speaking upright life. Because y'all don't want to be upright. Y'all don't want to be right. Y'all love drill music now. Y'all love murder music. And it's spilling over off in our community. The drugs. The violence. Y'all love that thing. Y'all don't want to be upright. And God said, two-thirds of us must die. Two-thirds of us is not going to wake up to this truth. We're going to love this place so much that we're going to die with it. Give me John 3 and 19. But it's okay, because some of you spirits are slated for death. You were brought here to die. And some of you was here to be oppressed, 
wake up and change and rise as a nation. So that's who we talking about. That's who we talking to. Those that want change. Those that want repentance and those that want to be saved. That's right. Read. This is the book of John, chapter 3 and verse 19. Read. Bring it out. And this is the, com the condemnation that light is come into the world. So this is the condemnation that light came in the world. We are that light. We are that light. Give me Matthews. You know what I want. 514, right? Yes, sir. Give me that and hold that, John. God said that light has come in the world. Who is the light? The Israelites. That's right. We are God's light. Right. We are the ones that God gave the commandments to. Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 14. Read. Ye are the light of the world. So we are the example to the world. We are the light that everyone's supposed to follow. Read. A city that is set on a hill. Meaning we cannot be hid. Everybody's supposed to see us. But right now we're at the bottom. So nations mock us. They said these can't be the people of God. But you are. And it's time to change. Right. Read. Cannot be hid. And you cannot be hid from this truth. You're going to see us every Sabbath. We're going to be out here preaching this word. No matter how many you try to kill or intimidate us, we are going to come out here and preach God's word. Yeah. Give me Proverbs uh, 6 and 23, the light. Bring so what up. is that light that we're supposed to be shining? What is that condemnation that light has come into the world? Because America is evil. It preaches murder, death. This is the only place where you can worship the devil. You can actually worship Satan. It's no good in Satan. Everybody know. In every religion, everybody know the devil is bad. Don't follow him. But in America, with democracy, you can worship Satan. And a lot of you black people probably say, oh, well, it's a free country. Bugged out your mind. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 23. So what is that light? What is that light that came into the world that you're trying to hide from? Read. For the commandment. Is a lamp. The Bible says God's commandments is a lamp. Read. And the law is light. And God laws is light. That is the condemnation that God laws is light and it came into the world. And now it's time for you to change. And y'all take it as condemnation. Y'all take it as evil for someone to come up and say, brother, you can't murder each other. Brother, no more hatred in our community. Brother, no more sleeping around from sister to sister. No more... Uh, eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, little things. No more shaving your head bald like Michael Jordan. These are God's laws. These are the life that come in the world, but y'all take it as condemnation. Go back to John 19, 319. This is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 19. Read. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. Read. And men love darkness. Men love what? Men love Darkness! God said you men love darkness. You love putting each other to death. From them. Right. You take pleasure of killing someone's father, Bring it someone's mother, right. someone's sister, someone's brother. God said, You men love darkness rather than light, rather than change, rather than repentance. You men love darkness rather than light. Read. Rather than light. Read. Because their deeds were evil. Because your deeds are evil. You know what you're doing is wrong. You, you know everything you're doing is wrong and that's why you hate light. You accept darkness because you live it. You live in darkness and you love that thing. And it's comfortable. The Bible says sin is pleasurable. So you love that seconds of pleasure. That murder is a lust for you. That selling drugs, that nickel back to your, to your own community is a lust for you. You love darkness rather than you love the light of God and keeping God's commandments. But you claim to be a Christian. 
You claim to be a Muslim, but ain't none of these religions changing anything in this community. Right. Our communities are getting worse with all of these religions. But you know what is changing us? The Israelites. The Israelites is making a change in the community. You see these brothers in purples? We live the life that you live. And we all change. Right. Read. And changing. And this is the condemnation. That light is coming to the world. Read. And men love darkness rather than light. Read. Because their deeds were evil. Read. Verse 20. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. So everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. So when a man come out here to preach and teach you wrong, you know what you say? You mock him. You say get out of here. You don't want to hear that word. Read. Neither cometh to the light. Read. Lest his deeds should be reproved. And none of you even come up to the light. Meaning y'all don't even walk up here and ask questions. Y'all don't even ask questions on how do you get your light white or how you get right with God. What's going on, brother? How you doing? What's your name? Steve. Steve? Steve. Come on, brother. Let me, Steve. Let me speak to you. Uh, you Steve. Up. Steve, what's going on, Steve? Was you locked up at any point in time? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Where, where did you find Islam? Uh, I had my family Muslim. I turned my, I turned my child in like 12 years old. Okay. So you went, in, you went into prison Muslim. Okay. You know, a lot of our people find Islam in, in prison, right? Do you know where the origins of Islam came from in our community? First, what's your nationality? What's your father? Because the Bible goes through the lineage of your father. Your father's a black man, okay. On that son, what child would you be from? On the left is the, the name that God gave you. On the right is the name that the, the oppressor gave us in slavery. It's just your father, so. Yeah, so your dad is a Native American Indian. Okay, all praises. So you practice Islam though. And your family taught you Islam, right? Were you, so you learned Islam at 12 years old? I studied. My whole family cut me off when I became Muslim. Okay. Why? Because what's your, what's your family follow? All kinds of, you know, Christianity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm telling they cut me off. Have you ever heard of the sub-Saharan slave trade? Yeah. Have you sure? Because a lot of people, we ask them a question and they just say, yeah. It's okay to say no if you don't know. Okay, explain it to me. The sub-Saharan slave trade, what is it about? It's basically saying that the uh, white man came there, but the Arabs that was there sold the other brothers to the white man. Okay, so you do have some knowledge about the sub-Saharan slave trade. So who was they selling to the white man? Who was the Arabs selling to the white man? What, who, do you know who the black man is according to the Bible? Do you know? Give me Deuteronomy 28 15. Bring it up! Let me show you who the black man is. I'm going to show you. And where Islam came from. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. So, when you read in the Bible, right, it talks about a people called the Israelites. You ever heard of that? The Israelites are God's chosen people. God told Moses, here's my laws, teach Israel, and we were supposed to rule the whole world and enforce it on the other nations. But this is what happened. Read this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. So when you read in the book of Deuteronomy, it talks about the blessings of Israel and the curses of Israel. So God said, this is what's going to happen. These blessings are going to happen if you keep my commandments. This is what's going to happen. Read but it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Read. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, Read. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses said, Israel, listen, I wanted you to get the visual. So Moses was standing on top of a mountain with the nation of Israel. We outnumber, we number the sand of the sea. Just think about a nation of people standing right here, right? Moses on top of the mountain and preaching. He said, Israel, if you keep these laws, you're going to be blessed. Israel, if you keep these laws, you're going to, if you break them, you're going to be cursed. We used to scream black power. 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.